so what we're fixing to do is oh look at that right off the bat. I don't know. I I ain't never stole a John Deere tractor, but I would tell you Cole might be have to be the guy right here. What's up everyone? Hope you had a great Easter weekend. It is Wednesday, April the 15th. We are starting a little series here of what we call the food plot tour. Right now I'm headed up to the Woolly Grass Farm, uh, Kansas, or Jeff's Kansas Farm, and uh, we've got a lot of work to do. We're taking out about 40 acres worth of CRP or so and planting it to uh, a bunch of different things. Milo, soybeans, uh, corn probably, alfalfa, now we're going to put up some Egyptian weed as a barrier. Uh, we can set blinds in or used to uh, enter and exit our stands. But really all this is about is we're going to document everything that we're doing um, as far as food plots go and how we're doing it. Um, we don't know everything. We know a few things, but we're going to document it and show you guys how we're doing it. And hopefully it's something that helps you. Um, you know, it's, it's different every, every in different parts of the country. Uh, but right now we're going to Kansas, and then we're going to be in Northwest Oklahoma. Uh, just kind of show you how we're doing, and hopefully it'll lead to some big deer getting shot. Anyways, that's what we're doing. Is episode one of the food plot tour. Uh, if you guys want to know anything specific, um, it's a Wednesday right now. I'll probably upload this video Thursday or Friday. Just guessing. Uh, but if there's something specific you're curious about or why we're doing something a certain way, just let us know. We'll answer it to the best of our knowledge. We're just going to show you the process, how we do it, why we do certain things, and then hopefully come deer season, uh, all this work will pay off. Well guys, bad news. I'm stuck. Big time. This, uh, you know, it could, it could be worse. We're definitely... Not getting out of that though. But I see Jeff coming with the tractor already. That's good. So you can see we uh, it's not it's not great. I've been up here all day and I ain't got stuck. Cole gets here two minutes. He's stuck. In the beast. He's only got 8,000 pounds on corn.
new plan. We broke the jack on the trailer. And it's not really working, so we're going to unload the truck. Get all the whatever, 4,000 pounds or whatever, 2,000 pounds out of the truck. And come back and put the truck up to this and see if we can get it. That right there is not working. We're just going to break stuff. Which, we've already broken a bunch of stuff anyways, but it's going to be a lot worse. So we're going to go unload this. It's going to take a little bit. And then we'll worry about this mess. We and Cole just like to work out. We just got a, got permission with a grain buggy <laughs> that'll actually auger it in there, but it ain't gonna do us no good until we get that 6,000 pounds out of that one. <laughs> huh. Oh well, if we're setting over a couple booners this year, or even a couple 150s that we shot off the ground between our legs or something, it'd be worth it. <sighs> so we got the truck unloaded. Then we took the truck back to get the trailer hooked on and pull it out. When we did that, the truck got stuck again. So now the truck stuck. So then Jeff went to get the tractor to pull the truck out again. <laughs> he, he, uh, he hit the door lock when he got out of it. Now we can't get him the tractor. He ain't Any lying. thoughts? He ain't lying. Hang on, I don't know if I brought extra keys. I just don't know. I don't know. But I know one thing. We're going to see if I'm a very good thief. That's what we're fixing to find out. We're fixing to see if I could be a very good thief. We're going to see if I can steal a John Deere tractor. Gotta laugh. That's what they say. I mean, I've never really laughed at that. People say you gotta just laugh. Why? I never really got that. So, what we're fixing to do is, oh, look at that right off the bat. I don't know. Hey, I, I, I ain't never stole John Deere tractor, but. I would tell you, Cole might be have to be the guy right here. Oh. Look at that. Who locked what? Huh. Cause you gotta lock with the key, don't you? I mean, uh, <laughs> all right, have them keys. All right, we got the truck unstuck finally with the bin on it. So now she's gonna pull up to the big feeder here and fill it up. We got 6,000 pounds to unload out of this one by hand, so uh, a couple couple buckets, you know, we'll have it done in no time. But uh, what a what a day, you know. This is what it's all about. Not really, but <clears throat> shoot a boner on opening day, it makes it worth it, so or really any time. We'll see. Not too many people can say that they filled up a 16,000 pound feeder, but me and Cole can. That just happened. 16,000 pounds with five gallon buckets.
Oh, he doesn't save the day with the beef. Well guys, my food plot tour this year, um, I'm gonna let you know I'm not an expert by no means. I mean, I, I Googled a ton of stuff and looked for uh, YouTube stuff and to be honest, there wasn't a lot of it. I mean, um, from how to plant Milo, what to use, how, what, you know, I mean, we're, we're actually in a deal where we couldn't get soil samples, so I was trying to figure that out. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you everything we're doing. Um, I, uh, I, I've designed the farm on the map or on the computer with a map um, and designed it how I want it. Um, so this is right here, this phase, so right across the fence you, you saw Milo or a, a little round strip, almost looks like a racetrack, and I left CRP in the middle of it. And I'm gonna put big Milo there, so bedding and food, and then leaving that CRP in the middle. Um, I think that deer will really, really like that. Now this is about um, probably 1.6 acres um, that I got mowed here. So basically, what I've done is I'm mowing everything first, uh, giving it five to six days after I mow it. Uh, so that way that you mow the tall stuff and then all of a sudden the sun gets down, the seeds drop and other stuff starts coming up if you give it five or six days and then I, I spray in it. Um, I'm using spray and then I just bought me some marker, some blue marker so I kind of know where I'm at when I spray. Um, also using the dish soap that I showed you earlier put in and just helps it in wind to, to be a little stickier and to be a little heavier in that wind. So I got blue dye going in for my spray, and that is potent stuff. That's hardly on my finger. That's just a marker to tell where I've sprayed now. It's the other deal. So take Dawn, something I've learned recently, and uh, this right here is just gonna help the poison stick. It's going to make it a little heavier because it's going to be just a little bit windy today. It's going to make it kind of go down better. And um, anyway, that right there is kind of a little cheap tip. Now you can buy, I think they call it like surfactant or something like that that you buy at the feed store, but it's just so much higher. So you can take this Dawn and do this. And... Um, literally does the same thing so and again this is just stuff I'm learning so uh, mowing and then spraying and that's the phases that we've showed you so far basically is uh, uh, mowing waiting five to seven days letting it some some grow up and then coming in and spraying and then next we will um, start working the ground with putting some fertilizer down and working the ground and uh, but that's kind of where we're at right now. I mean, I would just tell you, design your farm, um, get your, you know, the other thing I left out is that you got to get your soil samples um, to tell you what you need on your fertilizer. So we'll pull some soil samples and, um, and then be able to tell our co-op when we hand them that dirt and tell them what you're planting, they'll tell you what to put in it. So anyway, we hope we can be very thorough and we're going to be able to hopefully show you all this stuff as it comes up this fall um, but we're going to tell you dates um, the milo we're going to try to plant into may first uh, of june the thing about milo you don't really have to put a fence around it because they don't really hammer it early now the soybeans we're going to plant late we're going to probably wait till june to plant them um, that way they'll be better as we go into you know if you can plant beans late for deer you're, you're better off um, but we are going to put a hot wire around them because the thing about the soybeans or cowpeas or whatever is if once they nip them, they start to come up a little bit and then the deer nip them, they're done. So we're going to try to protect them. So anyway, that's all I got for now. 
but this is step one of the uh, of our food plot tour and this is where up here at the woolly grass and we got lots to do so <sighs> man i appreciate you watching our youtube we're having fun with this uh, make sure and hit the like button i think it's right in here somewhere subscribe make sure and subscribe because we're working hard trying to put new videos out and this food plot tour we're going to be dropping stuff regularly so make sure and hit subscribe that way you know when we got a new one and again we'll see you in the next one